Welcome to The Passion Pod with your host, Chris Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the feature presentation. I'm ready. We're right. live on 7th Entry, and Jay has my phone. And you are? My name is Sunny Soda. Sunny Soda. Are you, you're the one who put this whole thing together, right? Yeah, man. Uh, me and my amazing team, we put this together. So who's on the amazing team? Man, Free World, we on. Um, shout out to Minnesota Fast. Big church in the building. And uh, yeah, man, we rocking out. Are you the origina- originator of the Free World? I would I would say so. Yeah? yeah I would say so. Yeah. When did that whole thing start? Um, shit, dude. It, you know what's actually crazy? It actually started out in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Really? Yeah, that's actually crazy. How? Um, being on the road with Throttle Clan, going on tour. Was that when uh, Scotty and Jake were still making music and stuff together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hell yeah. And uh, Jake had an extra house. Like, oh. he had a whole extra house. He was like, yeah, bro, I need you on tour and shit. And coming out to the cities, coming to grab you all the time. It's not happening. So you move in this other house that I have, literally a block down, and bring your homies in Eau Claire. In Eau Claire. No bullshit. He gave me a house for like two, three months. Dude, Jake is a legend. Yeah, um, no, no bullshit. He moved. He had a whole other house right next door. Do you see the van that he has now? No. Dude, he's got a massive van that's like red and blue camo. Oh. And he drove that shit all over the entire country playing shows like all 2020, hey, 2021. He showed, sh- yeah, he showed me so much marketing. He's yeah, really dude. about that marketing. What was the show. first? So do you perform yourself or do you just nah. throw all the shows together? Uh, throw all the shows. Okay, so and what was the first show that you organized? How long ago was that? Uh, years ago. We uh, talked two th- years ago? We talked nah, five it was years actually ago? A, it was like... It was a while ago, man. It's like eight years ago. Oh, okay. And uh, I threw a birthday bash. Oh, sick. Yeah, and it it went really, really, really well. What was the... So how did that kind of progress? I assume that was just initial, like, people you knew. Did you just build a network from going to shows and then meeting other artists and saying, hey, can I put you on this show? Like, how does that kind of work? Nah, uh, straight game. It's all about, you know, you are who you're around. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was around great people. Of course, when you're around great people, you get great things and everything great that comes with that. I, well, I agree. I think you, you lift yourself to the level of everybody else that's around you. Yeah. Who are some of your favorite people you've gotten to work with over the years? Uh, man. Besides everybody in this room that you're stoked on. No, you know what? I can't even, even though you was like everybody in this room, I have to say my number one is uh, Minnesota Fats. Even though he's in this room, um, you know, I know who he was and was a fucking legend and he was just doing great things. So working with him and then number two would have to be Wiz Khalifa's DJ, DJ Bonix. And uh, I don't even have to say Wiz Khalifa's DJ, but just for people that don't know, you know, because DJs a lot really don't get yeah. the recognition that in a way they deserve. In a I way. totally agree. Yeah. So, you know, but Wiz Khalifa, but his DJ, man, DJ Bonix, uh, working with him. That was that was crazy. So if somebody's trying to come up in Minneapolis and they want to get on a show, they know that you're the dude. How, yeah. What do they do? How do they pitch to you that they should be on a show? What uh, you, you know what? That's that's weird because people just see it, so they just be like, "Yo, I just." They know what it comes with, yeah. you know. So they just be like, "Bro, I got a show. I need you." <laughs> Come be a part of this so you can put your little sprinkle. You yeah. Know, you know. They, they said that they yeah. need your help. Yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. If we're going to pick a song right now, well, let's pick a few of them because we got so many artists here. Yeah. Why don't you pick, if you can remember them, three artists here and yeah. songs for each of those three that you can shout out right now. We'll play those. Yeah. Uh, little Crush Bourbon. Um, I was just up at the bar with him and he actually did order bourbon. Yeah. I was like, all right, dude, cool. Yeah, you were, you were legit with what your name of the song was. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, Lil Crush Bourbon. Um, and side, number one, Burr. Uh, <coughs> NZ Rose, Favorite or Spinning. Um, Spinning is an amazing track. Favorite is a great track. Uh, number three. Ooh, number three. Ooh. 
But I'm trying not to think about it too long either. I'm like, okay, you're all set. Can't think about it too long. Oh, shit. You know what? I don't. I don't know. Number three. Um. You know, Rico Shaw played a dope ass track. Uh, down here. But I don't even think that bitch on release. I don't know, man. Y'all gonna have to give me a pass. Check out a hey, fuck it. You know, number three would be something from Mac Turner, something from Suavo, something from you know Prince Riley, something from Kamari Cloud, something from Jay Zol. <laughs> you know the whole lineup, man. Something from them guys. I think know? we need to put together a playlist on Spotify of select tracks from everyone that performed here. Yeah, that. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the move. That's thanks for coming on the show, Sonny. Huh? I said thanks for coming on the show, Sonny. I yeah, appreciate man. you. Hey, man. No. Hey, on some corny shit, thank you guys, man. Yeah, thank absolutely. you guys, man. This shit, shit's nothing without you guys. For real. For real, for real. No doubt, man. Even this guy pulling up. Hey, hold on. Hey, real quick. You know, I don't know if the podcast is coming with footage or anything, but this motherfucker's getting tatted right now. Motherfuckers getting their hair cut right now. We got podcasting going over here. It's fucking lit, and we have first to have in the fucking basement. It's a free world party, you dig? Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Passion Pod. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you soon.